Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. Today I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of spiral bound planners. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in seeing, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we've already talked about the pros and cons of ring bound planners as well as the pros and cons to disc bound planners. And I will link those videos in the description box below for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of spiral bound planners. So I do have uh, two different spiral bound planners uh, with me today. I have this one, which I purchased from uh, Walmart. And then I have this one over here, uh, which is from cloth and paper. So let's start off on a positive note like we have uh, been doing and start with the pros of spiral bound planners. So the first pro is that um, for the most part or most of them fold on themselves. And um, again, as I have mentioned this before, this is very convenient when you're on the go and you know, you can't find a table maybe to write on or whatnot and you need to write on your lap. So it's nice to be able to fold the planner, uh, set it on your lap and write whatever you need to. So that is the first pro to the spiral planners. The second pro is the fact that they come in different sizes, uh, different colors, so you do have plenty of options to choose from. The third uh, pro to the spiral planners is that uh, they have everything pretty much already built in. So unlike the ring planners where you have to purchase everything separately because basically most of them come just as a cover. On the other hand, with uh, spiral planners, for the most part, uh, you know, some of them come with pockets, built-in pockets. You do get your inserts. Um, you know, already uh, in the planner. You also get your monthly dividers uh, in here as well. So you're not looking at uh, making separate purchases or anything like that. So again, same thing with this planner. You open it up. It does come with a built-in front pocket. You do have the dividers, as I had mentioned, as well as inserts that come with the planner. So um, with that being said, that brings me to the next pro, which is the fact that these are a very cost-effective option. So they are a cheaper option uh, to go with. You know, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a planner, you need something very simple. These are uh, definitely, uh, you know, a very, like I said, cost-effective way to go. You can definitely save a lot of money by choosing to go with a spiral planner. Another pro to the coil-bound planners is the fact that they are very lightweight. So because, you know, they're not filled with a bunch of inserts, there are no discs weighing it down, so they are very lightweight, which makes them very nice, very portable. So because they're very lightweight, even if you were to put them inside of a notebook cover, they're really not adding much bulk or much weight as well. So again, you know, that's another... Um, you know, pro to the spiral bound planners. So now let's move on to some of the cons to the spiral bound planners. So the first con, um, you know, to the system is the fact that there's no closure. So again, you guys know how much I love my closures. Um, you know, it keeps everything intact so nothing falls out, especially if you are carrying your spiral bound planner on the go. Uh, things can fall out, your uh, pages can get bent and things like that. Another con that I can think of is that they are not customizable like for example the ring planners where you can open the rings, move things around, add inserts, take inserts out. Same thing with the disc bound system. You're able to remove inserts, add inserts, things like that. Uh, with the spiral bound uh, planner you cannot do that. You can't take anything out, you can't put anything in. So, you know, that is definitely a con if you are looking at customizing your planner uh, by adding things or moving things. So basically what uh, you see is what you get with the planner. Um, so that can definitely be a con to a lot of people. 
So that is it, you guys. Those are the pros and cons, in my opinion, to the spiral bound planners. Let me know in the comment uh, section below what uh, you think uh, could be some pros and cons to using the spiral bound planners. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to see more of my videos, I will post those uh, for you guys on the screen as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. As always, until next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.